Hello and welcome to channel UTM. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel um, and normally I would show you uh, the research uh, in action and the results and basically I'm here to um, show you how you can start this research yourself. It's, it's the best way to um, come to some conclusions about this uh, crazy um, subject um, but today I'm going to be having a hopefully a brief look at um, some of the um, cameras that were used on the early um, moon uh, moon missions and stuff so it do uh, I do apologize if I get a bit tongue-tied and stuff thing like that I've just thrown this together and uh, basically it's more more for um, if you're going to consider starting to do this um, uh, and in some previous uh, videos I've done I think it was Dione and Pluto and stuff started getting more into the makeup of the images and how they've been um, pre-edited um, um, how things are masked, how the how the images are chopped up. There's some there's um, some stuff on um, Mars which is pretty interesting, um, and it's just basically going to give you a starter if you're unfamiliar with these these uh, images into what to look for. So just more understanding um, what is going on in the images will give you a head start um, when you start doing the research. So. I was just reading up on some things and um, I thought I thought it was um, quite interesting so I'm going to give you some uh, information um, it's very basic um, if I get anything wrong just let me know um, it's uh, I wouldn't say it's too much well it is a minefield field um, and not sort of thing so um, Basically, um, we're going to be looking. Well, where do I start? Where do I start? Um, let's let's have a look at this. This is um, so basically the images that we deal with um, are pre-edited. So um, even though on the channel we enhance the images, you could probably say that they're um, de-enhanced of sorts sort of thing so um, and like I always say as well just um, pause and have a read um, and uh, not so much with the images because I haven't done anything to them but I will be doing some follow-on videos with some of the images that we're going to be having a look at and they're, they're quite incredible so uh, this is cool so I'm going to focus on uh, the the American uh, one of the, well, the, the series of um, missions to the moon and, and the, I mean the moon has been, had dozens and dozens of um, orbiter reconnaissance missions um, on it well as far as as much as we know um, there oh my god yes so uh, and that's just the US it doesn't include um, anyone now um, who, who are you know the the Chinese and the Indians and the, you know everyone's everyone's going um, so there was a lunar program which started back in um, the early 60s, sort of 66. It was the um, Apollo Lunar Orbiter or Lunar Orbiter. Um, must excuse, I've got notes everywhere. Um, so yeah so the 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 russians were out there as well um there was the loot americans with the luna and the pioneer and the apollo um so there's been a lot 
all starting around about um, in in the in the fifties. Um, most of them that we know about are in the sixties. Um, but I think the space program probably started after the Second World War, um, when the Americans and the Russians split up the um, German scientists, and that's when their space program started, basically. So um, there's probably tons of stuff that's happened that, um, you know, we won't get to hear about, basically. So, right, this, this thing here, it's very interesting. This is what they used on the lunar orbiter that between, I think, 66 and 67. Um, this is the camera they used. Um, very interesting bit of kit. Um, and like I said, I mean, these are obviously not the um, first photo focused spacecraft uh, spacecraft uh, aimed at the moon um but we're looking at this one because um it's it's quite uh unique about the uh, equipment they were carrying um and basically they hijacked um uh, spy cameras from the defense department um uh for their for their satellite program um and the defense department um had a the it was called the corona um program and it was known to the public as a discoverer um to take pictures of the soviet union basically so um yeah there were spy satellites um and the, the reason why I'm saying this is, uh, and I'm going to show you the, the, the well as, as best as I can the relationship between the images we see now and the images that were taken then. I mean, to think that these people uh, were stupid would be would would be silly. That's probably a silly thing to say anyway. But um, anyway, they had um, two. There were two cameras. Um, uh, a high res and a, and a medium res. I mean, they're all film cameras, um, but they use 70 millimeter film, uh, which is what they use for IMAX now. And if I remember rightly, the um, the first Tron movie was filmed in 70 mil or projected 70 mil, something like that. Um, now these cameras were capable of. Um, from a few hundred miles away of, of, of taking details of down to about three foot so um yeah and they they uh they were um they were using a a, a kodak um bimat transfer processing system which was um classified by the cia um and up until I think uh, where are we? 2001. So um, the 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 defence industry has been capable of taking. I think I featured them. Um, there's a I've got a satellite image that was taken. No, not satellite, but a high altitude aerial view of a place in Iraq called Ur or something. And that was 1921 or something. And, you know, amazing quality sort of thing. So, you know, this is where we're going. They, back in the day, they were, uh, they, they had imaging equipment, which was um, outstanding, basically. And we probably won't find out about a lot of what they used anyway, you know. So, um yeah, so originally they uh, they would take the photographs and they'll get processed on the um, on the uh, ooh, not that one on the um, orbiter itself um, and then jettisoned by um, that, that camera. By the way, is um, here we go. It's a Schneider 
Kruse, Kruseknacht, and it's uh, it was German. So um, just let me blow that up a little bit. Uh, okay, right. So these little capsules here, well, what the there's there's the camera. I don't know if you can see that. I should have taken. I should have got some better pictures. But this is the camera there, uh, and these are the the um, developing the film pods of sorts. Uh, and they were jettisoned, and amazingly enough, um, they uh, when they got into Earth orbit, they had parachutes, but they had thrusters and things on them so they could they could um, steer them and amazingly again they, they were they were picked up in mid-air by aircraft and um, and that's crazy I, no, I didn't even know that um, and if the aircraft missed them obviously the, the helicopters were going to get them and stuff but um, I presume it was something to do with uh, not wanting to lose the uh, the information um, that was on the early ones, and then um, then they used uh, developed a way of um, transmitting the information um, by radio radio waves, um, and uh, yeah, radio and um, yeah, sent it was sent to uh, Spain or Australia or US. Um, uh, where their uh, um, labs were, um, and the 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 measurements were received on magnetic tape, and then the image processors that they had um, would uh, recreate that onto film, and um, paste the strips together, and then and I'm quoting a lot here as well, and it said the they could develop highly um, detailed photographs. Um, so, uh, in regards to highly detailed um, photographs, um, I'll just show you. I'll just show you that this this is for this is quite a famous image, and uh, lots of people have. Um, done enhancements and research, research on this um, and there's a few things I want to point out on this as well um, you can see the, the film strip running down the side here um, and the what look like um, the strips um, so like I said do excuse me if I get tongue-tied um, you know, and this is basically for like if you wanna if you wanna start. I find it interesting, so I thought I'd just I'd just put something out there because I'm learning stuff all the time. Um, you know, uh, finding out about the the images and and what's hidden in them because I would like I said I was doing something on Pluto, uh, and I did an update on it, and I completely disregarded one part of the map because I thought it was what it was but when i inspected it more um i found out i was completely wrong so um that's why i'm showing you this so it, 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 it's just the basics of i think um so i've got another have i got another image with i have but i haven't done anything on it um but just quickly, I want to show you something because um, it's quite interesting. And they put the the film strips in. They're all numbered. They're upside down and back to front. Um, what I'll point out as well for those of you who are who are wanting to start this and just. Um, I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, so I can show you. So you see the general makeup of the image here, um, and you can see the strip, the strip lines and stuff. 
this is something which um, and the bleaching out there's a lot of uh, tonal work they do sort of black and white which you know black stuff's out out and bleaches stuff out now this uh, has a completely different makeup to the rest of the image it, it, if it was part of the image it was part of a damaged um, part of the the uh, photo then it wouldn't have this makeup this is this has been put on after um, and it's uh, plain and simple um, if you want to investigate that more check out some of the the other videos um, and uh, it just looks totally out of place um, now I've been playing with this these uh, this type of software for years now um, doing illustration and, and various things like that and um, one of the one of the jobs I was doing we were we was resizing uh, images to stick into uh, displays which then holographic images we used but we had to make everything look old and nasty and stuff like that and it it's so reminiscent of I mean this is it's quite um, blatant rubbish um, sort of you know these sort of things like school kids would would be able to do if it, you know if they're saying like well make a photograph look old then uh, this is what they would probably end up doing um, and it's weird as well um, I can show you in, in the other image you can see there are lots of vertical lines in this as well which really doesn't make a lot of sense and there's some repetitive bits but I think they're on the on the vertical line so anyway he said he'll try not to uh, chunder and go on of sorts um, but if I just pull some of these down and we follow the uh, horizontal lines now if you look at where the film is I mean I don't know enough about how they put these you know the uh, these images together but to me it looks very wrong um, so I'm presuming that is the stitch line of um, these strips of film which that which they which they put together and if we go over to the other side you can see that they don't meet these little cutouts here are where that's an individual piece of strip of film and nothing marries up at all um, just a quick observation there but um, you know it, it, you start asking questions basically um, if we go back to this one this is just a crop of the the other image that I've, I've shown you um, Now I did read about, and I, it's in one of the other videos or something. Um, there was some software they developed, um, and they called it. It was basically a de-striping that would get rid of the, the the seams in the images. So you can see that they're not really in here anymore. And this is the same, the same photograph. If I pull another, put it in the middle, it's difficult. But as far as I'm aware, if we have a closer look here, 
it's just a crop of this image. And um, it looks very different. You see this area here, that is completely visually straight away, it doesn't look right. Also, draw your attention to. And these are good images to start um, researching on. Um, these areas here, you can see sort of like the grid layout. It's a structural layout here. But I will go into this in, in another video um, with these photographs uh, featured. But you can see it here as well. And when I look at this, I mean, I know what I'm looking at. This is a uh, this, this constructed layout. Let's see what, what is going on here. Very obvious, but not obvious if, you, if you're not aware of this stuff. Um, so hopefully just it, it's given you a heads up more than anything. Um, so let's have a quick look at... Um, here we go. This is um, a 1967 image. You can see the, the striping on this. Um, and this is a 2009 image. So, surely this one should be better than this one. You see where I'm coming from? I've enlarged this slightly, but straight away, immediately. You have this, there's this, this whole area. I will be doing these images, so uh, watch out for them. And then you look at the 2009 one, and it's, well, it looks like a pancake. There you go. There's some interesting stuff in there. So, and if we go back to here, just go a bit bigger. First image, dun 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 dun. Um, okay, and the digitally restored version here okay so here we go with uh, the original um, and just quickly like I was showing you with the uh, the lines with the strips we take that as being a strip that and let's chuck one over here it doesn't really look like they're lining up with difficult it's difficult to see but these strips actually look smaller than the strips on the the earth so that's doesn't make any sense And straight away in this image, and this is very, very low quality as well. Um, check this out. I mean, it's the whole thing basically, but it's something you'll get used to um, understanding what you're looking at, what you're looking for. Um, it's just practice. All this area here, this whole crater, is packed full of um, structures, but we're not going too far into that today. Um, 
Now the moon, uh, they reckon the, the whole thing has been mapped and some stuff that I found earlier um, was pretty interesting. Um, now the, there's this map. Um, what I'll do, we'll have to, we'll go online in a minute and um, this just gives you descriptions of the areas that they've they've mapped um here's a little snippet of it i'd love to get a poster of the um this one so let's have a look up here ignore this at the moment okay so this is do excuse the computer this is what we're looking at, um, and like I say, um, pause it and uh, have a read. Um, so I'm just going to run through here, and it gives you descriptions of these are various craters. Um, It's interesting stuff. I, uh, this would be a very cool um, poster to have. And the reason I'm showing this is is because obviously the nature of the channel, um, and we're talking about, you know, what I'm finding what other people are finding and have been finding for a very long time now um so it's just something to relate to it's um there's so much information out there um it's just nuts um so if you if you're if you're still interested um just quickly there's um, there's loads of sites where you can download images from if you want to start um, doing this research. Um, here we go. Well, let's see. Here's some Apollo 8 images. Um, so, and I can tell you now, these have been um, pre-edited of sorts. Um, because they're they're public publicly available and you don't have to search too hard to find them um, some of the very early stuff is um, there's some interesting um, might take you I don't know if it will take you long or not but th so the there was um, a bundle of um, Zond uh, Russian Zond uh, missions to the moon um, in the early 60s um, and they are very interesting images uh, loads and loads of detail but um, so there, there's tons of uh, places to look at there's this with all the new star spangled uh, um, Laroc images of the moon here's a few Completely edited, softened, softened out, airbrushed. Look at that though. I have got some of these images uh, coming up. Um, sorry, but what the hell is that? And this is the, this this is the new stuff. This that, that's what I was trying to point out. Um, so the the rock site, the classic photo journal site. Um, let's have a look at that. Terrible quality. Um, and that was from the lunar reconnaissance orbiter. I don't know what year this is. What um, it's an early one, I think, early-ish. 
I'm not sure. But I'm just giving you, just trying to point you in the right direction. There's ESA. And there's also, we have got um, Apollo Image Archive. And there's the Lunar Orbiter Photo Gallery. There's thousands of images to choose from. Um, and the whole thing about this this uh, subject is is doing the research, uh, the research yourself. It's a very personal journey, and um, it's the only way to um, to case of do. Do the research yourself. Um, and simply just don't don't start afresh. Um, so you can read like like um, like these guys and what they were they were doing. Um, and there's an interesting quote um, from a guy called David Williams, and he he's the acting head of the NASA Space Science Data coordinated archive and he said um, he says you can take a magnifying glass and um, look at them really closely and you can just see all the detail he says it's really unbelievable so right okay so basically you know they're saying you know the, the technology especially today as well with the technology which which we which we've got everything is about image everything is about 4k 5k do you know what i mean um and let's just go back here so look we've got we've got this image which i just showed you with all the detailing and blatantly obvious stuff going on in here um it's it it's nuts look at these things i will be showing you more of this so and then we go to a modern day enhanced one okay and it looks completely different straight away and this is the way we know the moon isn't it it's just a, a gray flat barren no, nothing happening uh, moon um, it has got the film in it I don't know why it's got the film in it because they've obviously used the de-striping software to get rid of the striping so you can see it better obviously look at the image um now where are we right now this it's simply just had a little bit of um contrast onto it obviously the moon um and the earth is completely bleached out so be careful with your contrast and stuff anyway i explain all that in the uh in the videos <clears throat> and the tutorials um to get you started so as you can see from that to that in a couple of seconds um, so who do they think they're kidding well um, billions of people and they have been doing for the past God knows what seventy years or something like that. So I hope this has made a little bit of um, sense to you. What's that? Okay, there's something else as well that came up, which is um, something called morphology, which is um, the study of I think uh, here we go, the study of forms of things, and they use it with um, uh, uh, grammar um, as well as they go a particular form shape or structure structure so they have all these departments with, that deal with um, imaging and um, you know we just um, believe it 
and uh, it's not the case. So do your research and um, see um, see what you can dig out. Oh, that's another little bit of thing. Um, just have a have a read because once you once you start looking into this stuff, then um, there there's tons of things. This is something else. Will is a little bit later about um, uh, um, living on the moon and stuff and the 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 uh, stuff they were discussing back in the. 60s probably earlier than that um about and uh this as well i found loads of stuff and you, you can see all the designs and stuff they did for the um the uh the housing and stuff that they will want to put on the moon so um they were very serious about um colonizing the moon a long time ago so it's all very interesting stuff um now which uh oh hold on yeah yeah let's have a look there's also the um usgs site as well um interesting reads on this sort of thing there's something else i want to show you as well this is uh from a a I suppose a friend now, uh, Lunatech, uh, small site, um, but this, this is crazy, this was televised in 1969, just to give you an idea, look at this crater, if we've got any volume on this, um, but go to his site, check them out. Um, the uh, you'll probably hear my music as well. I've got speakers and stuff where the place. But it's quite interesting. They get a bit tongue-tied when they get asked to describe the what they're seeing. another thing to remember as well the moon isn't gray there's greens browns reds blues there's plenty plenty of photographs um showing this as well have a quick jump so go and check this stuff out and this is this is what they televised it's got a fair few uh, videos now um, and uh, some of them are you just check them out it is so obvious Once you understand, um, when you start doing this, when understanding what what to uh, look for, or it literally just jumps out at you. Not too much in this one, but um, here we go. Let's just pop back there. 
But watch it and listen, listen to how they're talking. I mean, look at the state of this. Look at it. Amazing stuff. Um, yeah, that is a Lunatech site. Um, brilliant videos. All right, guys. Um, I hope it didn't go on too long. I hope it helped you out. Um, just wanted to point a few things out. It's all very interesting. Um, excellent. Okay. Um, and I will be happy featuring those uh, photographs up there. I've pretty much done the work on them, so uh, it should be coming out hopefully a few days after this one. So, um, as always, thanks a lot, and um, I'll see you soon.